All right, you've heard it about homeschool kids. They're not as educated. They are socially awkward or they are not as social or they don't even socialize, period. Or the whole, I'm not you know, skilled enough or smart enough or have the capacity to homeschool. In this video, my wife's gonna debunk those myths and show you how you too can homeschool your kids. with that gonzo life and today I want to talk about some of the things that are said about homeschool students homeschool kids so there was a time when homeschooling was totally unknown those who homeschooled were very different kids that has changed and the world has evolved I remember there being a time when we would attend places and it would it would be asked are you a homeschool family or are you playing hooky like is there something wrong Whereas now when I go places, there's a conversation that's had like, oh my gosh, what grade are your kids in? It's not a surprise that I have my kids with me because homeschooling is much more common now. One of the biggest things is, well, I don't know how you could homeschool because I couldn't have my kids with me all day long. Just establish some boundaries um, as far as like responsibilities and whatnot. And you know, when you look at it from the perspective of you only get 18 years with each of your kids, uh, if they you know, choose to leave the house at 18, which your oldest one is wanting to do that, that's that's a very, very short time. And I remember having, when he was born, it felt like it was so long away. But now it's like three, four years away. It's, it's incredible to even think that that is a reality. So um, I love having my kids at home with me all day long. Yes, of course, there's some times where maybe I could use a little bit of peace and quiet. But when it's quiet, it's like, wait, is something wrong? Or I wait, I want to hear those sounds. I like having them at home um, with me. The other one is I, I'm not smart enough. Like I don't have the patience and I don't have the skill sets to educate our children. You don't have to know everything. And in fact, it's really neat when your kids ask you a question and then you can say, you know what? I don't have the answer and let's find that answer out together. And then we're able to you know, research and come up with a conclusion and an understanding uh, that they establish on their own, but also we can get the answer together. So you don't have to be ahead, maybe one, one week ahead to know what's coming as far as the curriculum that you have planned for them. I think there's wisdom in, in not knowing everything. I think if you know everything, there's a lot of pride that can that can come into play and we don't want our kids to, to be that way. As far as needing to know everything or not being smart enough, there are tools and Google is super helpful. So is YouTube. YouTube's super helpful. The other one is your kids are not getting enough social. I almost have to say no to things because with four kids, I said four, <laughs> with four kids, each kid has friends and there are families. I love it when there are families with you know, multiple kids as well, and we just all mesh together. I feel like we're always doing something with a family or two, and um, we don't have a problem with not having enough social. And um, it's actually really neat uh, when somebody comes like for servicing, whether it be for pest control or the lady that clips the boys' nails, like they get to talk with these uh, professionals, and it's really neat. And even the professionals enjoy like they have a lesson and I get to turn it into, you know, a little piece of a homeschool assignment. So they're not lacking in social. My oldest son is a part of Civil Air Patrol and that's every Monday night and some Saturdays. And then we've also become friends with the families. And so the families have siblings and it's just this enormous opportunity for our families to um, spend time together and do things and we are not lacking in the social as far as education like are they getting an adequate education um, have you evaluated uh, how the students that are graduating where they're at right now I, I'm not concerned uh, for me if my kids can read right it's okay that they don't know trigonometry or that they can't write this elaborate essay but nonetheless if they can do the basics that's okay with me and and truly my kids they have the tools and we provide them with the tools and I'm pretty confident that if any of our children should have to go out, especially like our, especially our 14 year old, if he'd have to go out into the world today, um, as you know, he has been starting to do so without us, I, I'm confident that he's a respectful, responsible 
young man of God and, and that matters to me, their character matters to me more than their accolades and you know if they were head of the football team or anything like that and truly if they wanted to be part of any of those things we could have him be part of establishments that allowed for that particular sport or anything like that. That is a little bit on debunking about some of the things that you might have heard with negative comments as it pertains to homeschool. What are some negative comments that you have heard about homeschooling? I'd love to hear about those in comments below. Um, please like, subscribe, share. We definitely want to interact with you and get to know you more. Where are you watching this video from? And thank you so much for uh, being part of that Gonzo life.